What is this I see? Is someone making a deal for a Troy built more? Yeah, they are. I guess where they're making it. At a freaking 7-Eleven. Now that is a freaky scene. What are the odds? Yeah, pretty good. You want to see something freaky? Look at this. Moles. Look how huge this is. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to hit it with the mower. I got my mask on too. And that's how you do it. Easy peasy. <laughs> oh, we're just walking around a Walmart. Somebody's, yeah, somebody's buying a lawnmower. Not me. Are you buying that? Um, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Look where I am. I'm back at the ditch. Yeah, but things have changed. Uh oh, there comes a car. But see all the trees? They've been chopped way back into the thick stuff. Man, you can see real good now. Let's go down and take a look at it. While no one's around. Run, Greg, run. Don't be scared. Look, you can see all the debris. Man, they cut it way back. I've seen this happen before in different areas, you know? Like, it's the state and they come through and they have this tractor and it rides along here and has a boom on the side and it comes out. It's like a, a big mower deck and it just grinds away at everything. And then maybe one or two people are following behind it and cutting other things off with like chainsaws or something that didn't get, you know, or they might've been too thick. I don't know what they're doing because I wasn't here, but I've seen it to the distance. Look. See, leaves a big mess, but you can see a lot better if you're trying to pull out of a subdivision or something. Now these look perfectly cut, and then all that stuff up there was grinded away. Yeah. So yeah, so I guess the boom grinds that stuff away, and then the people like me would be the freak to have to come through and chop all the other crap and leave it down here. They might drag off some of it though, but not all of it. Yeah, I'm gonna try and make it back. And away we go. We're just knocking it down, taking no prisoners. Uh-oh, time to play pickup sticks. Yeah, just chuck it in the hole, let the copperheads deal with it, and then just keep on knocking it down. That one gave me a little trouble there. Now I'm reaching out one-handed. Yeah, that'll pinch your back muscles for you. 
Now this is the easy part because we're on flat ground. No reaching, no freaking, just weed eating. Wait, is this a weed eater or a weed whacker? Or a weed whip? Or a string trimmer? Maybe a strimmer? Well, it all depends on what part of the planet you're from because they call it all different things all around the world. There's no right answer, which means there's no wrong answer. There's some garbage for you. There's nothing more relaxing than trying to walk on jaggedy rocks, trying to trim down random weeds that are popping up in between those rocks, while simultaneously not falling in the ditch and keeping your string long enough on your trimmer. That's right, it broke off like a hundred times doing this. <laughs> Here I go, I'm stepping over again. Will I rip my pants this time? Ah, uh, no, no free show for you. But that has happened before in my days. Oh yes, I've ripped my pants and kept on going. Yeah, no time, gotta go. I didn't carry an extra pair with me. But there has been times where I've carried full sets of clothes with me out mowing for the day. Especially when it was really humid and I knew I wanted to change somewhere along the line in a gas station bathroom or when it was wet, like rainy all day, and I knew halfway through the day I have to change everything or I'm going to be a mess. And you know, you don't want to get a rash, do you? <laughs> if once that's ever happened to you, you'll learn I'm changing to some dry clothes. Nobody likes to get galded. All right, here I'm one handing it down the line just to get all the way to the end and come up from the other side. I have to stop every once in a while and look up. Okay, nobody's coming. Tap it on the ground, get some more string going. And right there, it's probably all busted off again. <laughs> it's almost ineffectual, right? Ineffectual, is that the right word? I don't know, but I've heard it in a song, so we're gonna use it. Tap it again, tap, tap, look around. Yeah, uh-huh, I don't wanna get hit. I'm not a dummy. I just play one on YouTube. All right, we're down at the funky, freaky end, and we're going to see what we run into here. We got some of that tall super grass. Yeah, super grass. That's the best word for it. It's down in the ditch. And now these, see them a little um, foxtail crabgrass. That's the little foxtails sticking up. You just chop them down. They're no big deal. But right there, that's a big deal. <laughs> that's the string eating freaking. Whoa, easy, Greg. Man, what are you trying to do? Be careful, man. Hey, I flipped something out of there. More garbage. I knew there'd be some in there. Hey, wait a second. The music stopped. We can't have that. Ooh, I'm going to reach. Okay. We need to kick the music back in. Which song should I play? Well, how about the same one? Made it over again without ripping my pants. Picking up more sticks. Flinging them in the ditch. All right. Can we get this sucker going? First pull? Yeah, first pull. All right. You never know. You just never, never know. Cutting down that foxtail. Boy, that stuff just shreds on up. Yeah, look at that. Boy, that's a heap and helping a crud. Don't be scared to get down in the ditch and get dirty. You know, if you think lawn care is going to be some nice, clean job, you're going to be all pretty when you're done for the day. You're sadly mistaken. You're going to be stinky and sweaty and sometimes not very happy. Now look what we ran into here. Some freaky looking desert plant. Might be peyote. I don't know. But it's right here. And I'm going to go all around it and leave it all by its lonesome. Nah, just joking. Chop it right in half. Go flying through the air. It was pretty tough down here at the bottom. I had to get more string, of course. And it wouldn't come out of there all the way. So you know what I did? I just stomped on it. That would teach it a lesson. When in doubt, you just smash and break stuff and stomp and kick. That always helps. That does for me anyway. Here we go. Playing around by the guardrail. That's my favorite spot here. Yeah, it makes a great sound too.
when I got down here to the end, I realized why they didn't pick up all those sticks. Because they're tangled up in this creeping crud. Yeah, they wouldn't come out of there easy, but you couldn't trim it without getting rid of them first. So I ran into a few more and I just had to keep doing the dirty work, getting down and dirty, the lawn freak way. Well, I would say easy peasy, but it wasn't that easy. Now those rocks standing on them, your feet want to like give out because the rocks move and you slide down the hill. And then it eats up all your string. So other than that, hey, you know, it's not a problem. You just trim stuff down. Found some garbage. Look at this. You don't want to get this wrapped up in your weed eater. No. Get property line marker. A cap, a nasty inside out glove, a Sprite, a Capri Sun, and a light beer. Oh my gosh. You gotta have a light beer while you're driving down the highway and then you just throw it out the window. Yeah, that's what they do. Right. Oh my God, it's a cop. All right? Mm-hmm. I know what's going on. Is it better? It's better. Thanks to the state doing their part. <laughs> Mine, eh, you get what you get and you don't throw a fit. I'm gonna show you something freaky. This is where I walk all the time and there's this old guy and he he comes out of his yard down here and he cuts and you can see he took one swipe down through there already and um, when I say old I mean he's like my dad's age. My dad's 92. This guy's got to be in his 90s and he's still cutting on his John Deere rider, right? <laughs> and, but when I come walking up this way he um, his mower was flipped over down here in the ditch and there was a guy hooking um, with a truck over here hooking up 
uh, a rope and they were pulling it back straight and then they were going to pull it out of here. And I was standing around for a minute and um, the old guy took off, you know, with the guy. And they pulled it out. You can see where they drug it out right here. So it looks like he came down. He got a swipe in, came up around and tried to go in, but it looks like he like, kind of bought, look at that, there's a daddy long leg. Yeah, you better run. Um, phew, hit right here and didn't make it, you know? <laughs> and so, he drug it on out. And I thought, you know, he didn't even finish. He didn't do anything. I thought, no, his mower's messed up, but he, he's okay. I don't know how he's okay, all right? I don't know. But I'm gonna go ahead and just trim this whole area up, so. He doesn't have to worry about it or think about it. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Now that was easy peasy. Only took a couple minutes. Yeah, look how much room I gave him. I trimmed it all up. He can just swoop on through. Doesn't have to get close to it at all. He doesn't have to be tempted to go down in there or anything. You know, it's only trimmed like every two or three cuts. So I might just swing by here and keep that like it is so that he isn't tempted to try and go back down in there. Yeah. All right, well it all worked out. On to the next project. You can see I took a swipe through the yard and I scared something and it come running out of the grass. It looked like the grass was moving. Look at that. Oh, he's looking at you. Kind of want to hug him. I don't know. He's probably going to run away. Do they bite? I don't think they bite. Too small. I like those stick bugs. He's cool. I like orchard mantises, it's a really Oh man, I wanted to pick him up. You want to pick him up? Where can go? I dare you. Okay. Put your hand in front and scare him onto it. Oh, well, scare him to me. 
Look at him. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? Freaky scene, yeah. I want to pick him up and move him somewhere safe, though. He's so fast. This is a cool looking dude. Come here. Hey, get over here. Look at him. Oh, he's cool. You want him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Get over here. Now I'm not scared of him. Here, put him on the tree or something. There you go. There you go. <laughs> That's always a freaky scene. Ah, oh, but wait, there's more. Didn't you say something a little while ago about praying mantis and then stick bugs? <gasps> stick bug! There's one right there. That's a huge one though. I've actually only seen like two. Look at that. I'm not scared of them because I picked them up before. They just kind of... They just sit there like little sticks. <gasps> you, you figure it out, I can't really tell. Oh, he's got a little... St <laughs> his feet sticky. are like sticky. A stick bug is sticky. When you're done, you can just stick him back on there. He likes it over there, I guess. Try not to hurt him. <laughs> he looks so cool. Look at him. Look at his little antennas. Uh, walking sticks. <gasps> it feels weird. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to come back on here. There you go. There you go. Oh, oh no. There's a leaf. No, he's going the wrong way. No, 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 no. Can't have that. Hey, you little freak. I crawl into it, it feels so weird. They have to go real slow to get back. He's trying to get each foot like stuck on there. This one is like, there we go. All right, cool. Man, the day's done, the yard is cut. And I was out here and this little freak come walking back. He's back. He's moving like a little bit at a time. Thinks I won't notice him. <laughs> Get over here. Hey, I, want, I want to hold him. You want to hold him? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're holding him now. Oh, oh no. Oh, no, no, no. There you go. He's a jumper. <gasps> Look at him. Oh, he's a cool dude. Where, where, where do I put him? Where do I put him? Let him go in your hair. Oh no, don't put him in my hair. Where is he going? I don't know. But... <gasps> oh my oh, god. <laughs> I jumped. Alright, we're gonna let him be. He needs to go in the bushes or something. Let's move this gas can away from there. Heck. There you go. <laughs> okay. There you go. Hang out right here. This will be good for you. Go on. Don't be scared. There you go. Uh, that's got stickers on. Don't go in there. Well, whatever. <laughs> oh, the freaks are hanging out here tonight, man. So I thought, if the praying mantis is still running around out here, is the stick bug still here? We're looking and we don't see him, and then all of a sudden we look up, and there he is. Oh, moss feels weird. We better leave him, though. He went through enough today. <laughs> that probably took him all day to get right there. Oh, uh, six feet took him all day. Yeah. Yeah, freaks are here, man.